Uh, European Parliament and Council today reached a provisional agreement uh, to regulate artificial intelligence with the AI Act, uh, and the legislation is uh, the first successful attempt to uh, uh, regulate AI, aiming to curb uh, potential risks of, of advanced automation and misinformation. Uh, though the AI Act still needs to be formally adopted, its enactment is nearly definite. However, the Act's provisions are not expected to be enforceable for another year or two. The rules committed that this taken off for a 10 point sense to, to attend police to divide it around the course of a providing 15%. Um, the use of cores are uh, ends uh, EU for better or worse has been the leader in big tech regulation. Uh, the governing body of 27 European countries has had input on everything from data collection to the charging port on, on uh, iPhones in recent years. Um, um, this latest piece of legislation was conceptualized in 2021, um, but has changed a lot following the AI boom over the past year. Um, AI became mainstream with chatbots like OpenAI's ChatGPT um, uh, and Google's BARD debuting for use by the masses. Thus, EU legislators retooled uh, the proposed AI Act, and it took two years to finally reach uh, the just agreed upon version uh, today. Um, and however, getting to this point wasn't easy. You'll notice that both of the aforementioned AI chatbots come from American companies, and some EU lawmakers expressed concern about the AI Act becoming an obstacle for homegrown startups. And the AI Act attempts to limit uh, how the technology can be used by companies, uh, governments, and law enforcement. It focuses on malicious applications of AI, like using the text to violate a person's civil rights. Some examples given by the EU include predictive policing, image scraping for facial recognition purposes, and manipulating human behavior. These examples and a few others will be barred outright by the AI Act. Uh, the EU did note a few exceptions uh, that law enforcement can use AI-based biometric identification, and generally these are when uh, there's a specific and imminent threat uh, uh, the legislation also targets big tech companies under the high-risk systems provisions. The AI Act says that general-purpose AI, such as chatbots like ChatGPT, will have to comply with new transparency requirements. These companies must share technical documentation, comply with copyright law, and provide detailed summaries of the content used for training. The guidelines apply to both AI systems like ChatGPT and AI models, like GPT-4. If the EU deems that an AI tool poses a systemic risk, there are stricter requirements. These AI systems, if they meet undisclosed criteria, will have to conduct model evaluations, assess and mitigate systemic risks, conduct adversarial testing, report to the Commission on serious incidents, ensure cybersecurity and report on their energy efficiency per the EU. If companies defy the AI Act stipulations, they could face fines of up to 7% of their revenue. Uh, the AI Act, Council and Parliament strike a deal on the first rules for AI in the world. Hashtag AI Act Read, our press, 9000 uh, Before becoming law, the AI Act will need to be formally ratified by the European Council and the European Parliament. Uh, however, this provisional agreement uh, means that it is all aligned, uh, but they certain uh, the, the AI Act will be adopted by the EU. Although the legislation is significant in that it is the first to try to curb AI's rapid expansion, its effectiveness is unclear. Um, the provisions in the law are not fast about what is that remorse? What reason why is the design cover of the concerning would have been justice, that that was the important reason if the EU's rules will even still be relevant.